Hello and welcome to today's video on using AutoFS to mount NFS shares automatically on Oracle Linux. AutoFS, also known as the Auto Mounter, mounts file systems when they are accessed rather than maintaining those connections at all times. After a period of inactivity on the mount, the Auto Mounter unmounts it and frees up system resources. The default timeout for this inactivity is 300 seconds. Using this method to manage mounting local and remote file systems improves system performance when handling many mounts versus adding them to FS tab. Use a terminal and connect to an Oracle Linux instance on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. The pre-configured NFS SharePoint used in this exercise is on another Oracle Linux instance at forward slash NFS dash share. First, install the NFS utilities and AutoFS packages using sudo dnf install y nfs utils autofs. Since we are using an instance in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, the nfs utils package is already installed. With the packages installed, create a mount point by typing sudo make dir forward slash nfs dash mount. This mount point will be the location on this system referenced by the auto mounter configuration. Now get a listing of the default auto mounter configuration files using ls lh forward slash etsy forward slash auto asterisk. The main configuration file is forward slash etsy forward slash auto dot master. Print the file to the terminal for viewing by running cat forward slash etsy forward slash auto dot master. This file contains sample mappings between a mount point and a map file containing definitions of the remote file systems that can be mounted. It also contains a directive where additional mappings are dropped and included without modifying the default sample file. The files put in this directory should end in .autofs and use the standard auto mounter map format shown. If the file does not end in .autofs, it is ignored. Next, create the auto mounter map for the NFS sharer using vi. Type sudo vi forward slash etsy forward slash automaster dot d forward slash my nfs dot auto fs. Add a new line forward slash nfs dash mount forward slash etsy forward slash auto dot my nfs dash dash timeout equals 180. This creates a custom auto mounter file my nfs dot auto fs in the inclusion directory forward slash etsy forward slash auto dot master dot d with a mount point as forward slash nfs dash mount and references a map file called forward slash etsy forward slash auto dot my nfs. An optional inactivity timeout is set to 180 seconds rather than using the default. Save and close the file. Now configure the auto dot my nfs map file with sudo vi forward slash etsy forward slash auto dot my nfs. Add a new line my nfs dash fs type equals nfs comma rw comma soft comma intr the server ip address of the nfs server colon forward slash nfs dash share this sets the map mount point mounting options and location of the nfs share if there are multiple shares to map add additional lines each with a unique map mount point save and close the file for additional information about autofs mapping and mount options See the auto.master and mount manual pages. With the mapping complete, start the AutoFS service by running sudo systemctl enable dash dash now AutoFS. The service shows active, so try accessing the mount point. Change your current directory to forward slash nfs dash mount and then get a directory listing. Notice that myNFS is not mounted. Now change into the myNFS directory and get a directory listing. If configured correctly, you get a listing of the files in the NFS share. Now change back to the forward slash NFS dash mount mount directory. The connection will time out after three minutes based on the configuration set in the auto mounter map file. I will skip ahead until the timeout has passed. Now get a directory listing and notice that my NFS has been unmounted. Besides creating a custom auto mounter map, the package installation includes built-in maps and scripts for NFS and SMB in the files auto.net and auto.smb. 
For additional learning, check out those files for more practice with AutoMounter. That completes this presentation on using AutoFS to mount an NFS share automatically. Thank you for watching and enjoy using Oracle Linux.